2019 predictions. I want to wish everybody a happy new year. I'm thankful and blessed to see another year. Predictions for 2019. The first prediction for 2019 is that more people are going to be more serious in achieving their goals and New Year's resolutions. A lot of people are going to get the ball rolling and starting new things, whether it's starting a new job, starting a new business, or starting a new workout segment. A lot of people are going to be getting the ball rolling and, and achieving their goals and resolutions and plans for the new year. Happens every year around this time. Also, my second prediction is more people are going to start getting ready for football season. Well, that's not really a prediction since we do it every single year. You know, we've been following that tradition for decades, since the 1960s. You know, around this time, people have been preparing for the Super Bowl and getting everything organized, buying tickets to, to the football stadium game, buying football gear, fan gear. People going crazy as usual. That's not really a prediction because that's a tradition. We do that every single year. And also Gasparello. So yeah, Gasparilla and the Super Bowl season is what we do every single year. Also, my third prediction for this year is that more people are going to be considerate of their energy, which means people are going to want to be around people that serve and resonate with them on a higher level. You know, these last few years, we've been in relationships that haven't served us. People that don't appreciate our kindness and take it for weakness. People that don't value or support us. People that talk about us behind our backs and have stabbed us behind our backs. Those that didn't have our best interests at hand, we've been dealing with that for the past few years now. And 2018 was the year to get rid of that energy and then clear karmic toxic relationships that no longer serve. So my prediction of this year, people are going to be one of being connections that are more authentic and more real and more supporting than in, than in relationships that are toxic, not good for the well-being of others. Basically, what I'm saying is more people are going to be are going for true, authentic, raw, real relationships. No fake, toxic relationships are going to be afloat anymore. That's all going out the window this year. I mean, it went out the window in 2018 and more people are setting up their energy for real connections that are going to serve them. Real, true friendship connections. That's my prediction for this year. Another prediction for this year is that the politicians and the government and those in power are going to have a mighty challenging year. I'm not sure what's going to happen to them, but they they got a mighty challenge on their hands that they're going to have to face. Another prediction for this year is more people are going to want to start family home-based businesses. More people are going to want to work towards home instead of working a corporate nine-to-five job or working in a building 24-7. That's going out the window. I see that going out the window this year. More people are going to want to spend time with their families and loved ones and make wonderful connections. So I see the rise of mom-and-pop shops, family-oriented business, family restaurants, People are going to be starting home-based style, loving, friend, friendship, family release. <sighs> more people are going to start doing things more family-oriented and more more hmm, 
there will be the rise of family oriented business where they sell natural loving organic stuff that g gives value to other people and that helps people on a loving caring manner more people are going to want to are going to want more natural organic things that are good for the body and for the mind, body, and spirit. More people are going to be doing more family-oriented, home-based things. People aren't going to want commercialized things anymore. I see that going out the window. So yeah, it will be the rise of mom-and-pop shops and family-oriented business businesses. Another prediction that I have this year is that it'll women and homeless people and starving children are going to be getting their justice. Whatever the government or those in power have been doing to those in need and that need food, shelter, and other things that make a human stay alive, there's going to be justice brought to that. Whether it's the mistreatment of women in different countries, starving children, the black community, I see a rise in the feminine energy in the Black Lives Matter speech. I mean, that's been rising for over the years, but this year it's going to rise even more. In 2019, I believe that there's going to be a rise against discrimination and unfairness. There's going to be justice brought to that. That's another prediction that I have for this year. What's another prediction for this year? More new technology and advance is going to come. More new, more new ways of doing things. New technologies, a new way of using technology is going to come to the surface this year. That's another thing I predict. More new movies are coming out. Aladdin and The Lion King are coming out this year. That's another thing that's going on this year. What's another prediction? What is another prediction for this year? Oh, yes. Millennials and people of the younger generation, more of them are going to quit their nine to five jobs and start their own business, their own online business and make a living doing their passion. The majority of millennials have already done that. Last year, 43% of millennials quit their nine to five jobs and became entrepreneurs and traveled the world. And they said that 44% of millennials are planning on doing that in the next year. Last year, it was 43%. This year, it's going to be a lot more. Probably like 80, 90, or 100. We'll see. But it's going to be a lot bigger than it was last year. More and more people in my generation, the majority of them have already done it, but more and more people are going to be going down that road. And then it's going to be a problem, you know, with those who are into tradition and would like people to follow the status quo and traditional way of doing things. I see that being challenged this year. People are going to be taking back their power, standing up for themselves. Others aren't going to be able to control other people anymore. I see a lot of people taking back their power this year. It's like, so if you're one of those people that has been bullied or controlled or haven't had any power this year, this is the year that you're going to rise up and take your power back. And you're going to become more confident than ever. Those that had a problem with being confident are going to be more confident. I see new YouTubers joining the platform. There are going to be more people giving out valuable information. And I see people blowing up on YouTube. Huge blow ups this year. Throughout the last year, new YouTubers joined the platform and they blew up within months. They got... They received 20K, 100K subscribers. 
So I see a lot of people blowing up this year. I see more people becoming more self-sufficient, more self-employed. New ways of doing things, more people being kinder to the environment. I have a prediction for that also. What's another prediction? Trump is going to be faced with some major challenges. That's another prediction. Oh, yeah. Him and those in power are going to deal, are going to have to face a lot of challenges. I see more people being brave. That's another prediction. More people being more confident in their capabilities. More people giving out valuable information. Those turning away from corporate media. I, I predict that. Like I know some people are still going to be watching corporate media. You know, those that aren't spiritually awakened or those that are used to this traditional way of living. But a lot of people, I predict a lot of people are going to wake up this year more and more people are going to wake up. The majority of a lot of people have already woken up, but there's going to be even more people waking up this year. That's another prediction that I have. <clears throat> What's another prediction? That's all I got. I wish everybody a happy, fun, proper year. I hope you guys have a great 2019. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And in order to see when I'm uploading, please hit the notification bell. Happy New Year. Be safe. Have fun. And I'll see you later.